Hello everyone. This is the second episode of our topic fundamental concept. In the first episode, we discuss about the like terms, unlike terms, coefficient, numerical coefficient. We discuss about the classification of polynomials and all the topics. And we solve the few problems to build up the concept. In this series, now we are moving to addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. Addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. Now, first thing you need to remember, addition and subtraction is only possible between the like terms. Clear? Addition and subtraction is only possible between the like terms. So, these two are possible or we can say that like terms. For example, if I say 8x plus 5x, x, x, they are like term, so we will add. So this will be equal to 8 plus 5, 13x. Now in place of this, if I write 8x minus 5y or 8x plus 5y, this will remain the same as 8x plus 5y. Reason is, they are unlike terms. They are unlike terms. And unlike terms will not either subtract or add. So we need to keep in mind that addition and subtraction is only possible between the like terms. First thing. So for example, if I take 8x minus 5x, 8 minus 5. x, x are like term. So, we will subtract 8 minus 5. That means we add or subtract the numerical coefficient. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3x. Now, what is the rule we are going to follow? Same sign are always going to be added. Same sign always going to be added. I am writing here same sign, they are always going to be added. For example, if I write 8x plus 5x, sign of 8x is plus, plus 8x plus 5x, right? So they are added, we write it as 13x. If I say minus 8x, minus 5x minus 8x minus 5x see both are same sign minus 8x minus 5x so again they will be added 8 my 8 and 5 if you add it will become 13x both carrying the negative sign so result will be minus 13x so rule number one same sign will always be added. Same sign will always be added. And the sign remains the same. Positive, positive. So, result positive. Negative, negative. Result negative. Am I clear to everyone? Now, if they are opposite signs, we need to subtract. We need to subtract. Suppose, for example, 8x minus 5x plus 8x. This is a sign of this term is plus. Sign of 5x is minus. Opposite sign. Opposite sign. So, we need to subtract. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. So, result is 3x. Now, which 
is a bigger number? 8. 8 is a bigger number. What is the sign of 8? Sign of 8 is plus. So, the result will be plus 3x or you can write it as only 3x. Suppose if I write minus 8x plus 5x. Now see, what is the sign of 8x? Negative. What is the sign of 5x? Positive. That means they are opposite sign. What we will do? We will subtract. 8 minus 5 is equal to 3x. 8 minus 5, 3. Like term, x. Now, which number is bigger? 8 is bigger. We are just looking for the magnitude part. 8 is bigger. What is the sign of 8? Minus. So, it will carry the sign of the number which is higher in magnitude. So, this will be minus 3. So, till now what we have discussed? Addition and subtraction is possible only in case of like terms will not add will not subtract if they are unlike term like a plus b if you add this remains as a plus b clear second thing if you are adding the same term if you are adding the same term so we need to check their sign if both are positive, result will be positive and we need to simply add their numerical coefficient. We need to simply add their numerical coefficient. Add or subtract their numerical coefficient. Add or subtract their numerical coefficient. If they are opposite sign, each and every case, you need to subtract. Subtract, bigger minus is smaller. Bigger minus is smaller. You need to subtract, bigger minus is smaller. Now, what is the sign of the result? Sign of the result will carry the sign of the number which is greater in magnitude. Like this, minus 8x plus 5x. Minus 8x plus 5x. 8 is bigger in magnitude. I am not considering their sign because if I consider the sign minus 8 is obviously the less lesser number. So I am considering their magnitude. 8 is their magnitude. What is the sign of minus 8x? Minus. So result will carry minus 3x. Clear? Now we will solve few problems to clear this concept and then we move into the different kind of problem which you need to practice in this exercise or in this topic to build up your concept i am taking few lighter example so whatever we learn we just validate the point or your basic concept gets clear 8x plus 5x. Both are like terms. So, we can add or subtract. 8x plus 5x. Both same sign. Both carry the same sign plus 8x plus 5x. So, same sign they always need to be added. So, 8 plus 5. And we need to add the numerical coefficient. So, 13x. Now, sometime, it is a very early phase of the algebra, we are learning algebra for the... What you commit the mistake, you 13x plus x, you write x square. No, like terms, when you are adding, only you need to add the numerical coefficient. See, I am add, adding only the numerical coefficient, 8x plus 5x, 13x. 8x minus 5x. 8x, what is the sign of 8x? Positive. Sign of 5x is negative. If you remember what I said earlier, 
opposite sign they need always need to be subtracted so 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 now which one is bigger in magnitude 8 out of 8 and 5 they are these are the numerical coefficient 8 is bigger in magnitude what is the sign of 8 plus so result will be plus 3x 6 x y square x y square x y square just look at these two terms same term x y square x y square so they are like terms 6 plus 9 15 x y square we are just adding the numerical coefficient x y square x y square same like terms but they are opposite in sign this is plus this is minus nothing is there means we consider plus so plus minus opposite sign so opposite sign we need to subtract 6 9 if you subtract the result is 3 x y square 9 is bigger in magnitude what sign it has? Minus. So, result will be minus 3xy square. Moving to the next problem. 5. The addition of 5, 7xy, 6 and 3xy. So, we write in a mathematical form. Like 5 plus 7xy plus 6 plus 3xy Statement is given So better we write it in a mathematical form 6 plus 5 6 plus 5 Constant like terms And xy and xy like terms So 5 plus 6 11 Plus 7xy plus 3xy 10xy Moving into the next problem See, these two are like term 4a minus 7a Like term 3b and 4b These two are the like term Now, 4a minus 7a Opposite sign, 4a, sign is positive, 7a, sign is negative, opposite sign, subtract, 7 minus 4, 3, right, 7a minus 4a is equal to 3a, 7 is bigger in magnitude, what sign it has, negative, so result will be minus 3a, 3b plus 4b, same sign, 3b positive, 4b positive. Same sign, add, it will carry the same sign. So, plus 3b plus 4b is equal to 7b. x square, x square, like term. Opposite sign, 16 positive, minus 9 negative. Opposite sign, subtract. 16 minus 9, 7 x square. What is the sign? Which one is bigger in sign? 16 bigger. What sign it has? Positive. Result will be positive. x y square, x y square. Like term 25 minus 17. 25 minus 17. It is equal to 12. Uh, sorry, it will be 25 minus 17 is 8xy square. 25 is bigger in magnitude, positive sign, so result will be positive. Clear? So, this is a, just we built up the basic for the next set of problems. Same sign add, it will carry the same sign. 
as their terms opposite sign subtract and the result will be and what is the sign of the result it will carry the sign of the number which is bigger in magnitude moving into the next problem add sub so part 1 is given as minus 9x 3x and 4x so this is given in a statement form so first we need to write it in a mathematical form so we write it as minus 9x plus 3x plus 4x clear now see these two terms plus 3x plus 4x so we will apply addition between these two terms first so minus 9x 3 plus 4 we are adding the since they are like term so we need to add the numerical coefficient 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 so plus 7x minus 9x plus 7 opposite sign opposite sign so they need to be we need to subtract and again remember sign will be of greater magnitude so 9 minus 7 is equal to 2x so 9 is bigger in magnitude here so it will carry the sign of 9 that is my negative sign so answer will be minus 2x you can do this sum in another way also so you need to add like in the last step we write 9x plus 3x plus 4x now first simplify these two terms minus 9x plus 3x opposite sign we need to subtract so 9 minus 3 is equal to 6x we are subtracting the numerical coefficient term will variable will remain the same now 9 is bigger so the result will be minus 6x plus 4x plus 4x now again if you repeat the process opposite sign so we need to subtract minus 6x plus 4x that is equal to 2x 6 is bigger in magnitude so it will carry the sign of 6 so answer is minus 2x any of the way you can solve this problem moving to the next problem we need to add these three terms. So we write 23y square plus 8y square minus. Now we need to add. So we write plus of third term minus 12y square. Clear? Now plus minus outcome will be minus so 23y square plus 8y square minus 12y square 23 plus 8 if we add these two same sign so it will be equal to 31y square minus 12y square 31 minus 12 opposite sign subtract 31 if we subtract 12 then the result will be 19 19y square 31 is bigger in magnitude so it will carry the sign of 31 that is positive so your answer is 19y square so today we will discuss in this episode we discuss the addition and we build up the basic concept how we are going to perform addition and subtraction. In the next episode we continue with this exercise this topic and solve few more problems.
थैंक यू